it took me a few years to put it all together, but through the EFOS I found the world grid system and uh, I broke the, nor the northern parts of this down into mathematics and geometrics. I discovered three harmonic unified equations. Now, these equations are not supposed to exist. The knowledge should be used for the, uh, the good of the whole world community. Anybody outside with this sort of information and with a few brains, you, you could uh, have a free energy uh, system like Tesla had and have it all put together and running a car within about six months. And it's available. You don't need oil, you don't need anything. Plasma cosmology forms a part of the electric universe. The important point is that 99.999% of the universe is plasma. Plasma is electrically conductive and it responds to a magnetic field. The electric force is 1,000 trillion 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 times stronger than gravity. And yet this force is ignored in astronomy. You won't find any astronomy textbook that talks about electricity. The solar wind is an electrical current but really we are sitting on an electrified body in an electrified solar system with the sun as the focus of an electric discharge. All uh, planets are charged. All asteroids are charged. All comets are charged. That uh, impact with Temple 1, I was the only one on planet Earth who predicted there would be a flash before the main flash and also that it would be more energetic than expected. If you want to see more of the predictions, they're on the thunderbolts.info website and I believe our traffic now exceeds that of APOD or Astronomy Picture of the Day and several other well-known astronomy websites. This is uh, an excerpt from our latest DVD. It shows that our ancestors saw a sky which we would not recognise the world expert, Dr. Anthony Pratt. He was absolutely astounded when he found that his work matched the work that we've been doing in comparative mythology and uh, petroglyph drawings because we were convinced that they were pictures of the sky. The origins of rock art are prehistoric. And you'll notice the forms are identical to the many forms generated by instabilities and high energy plasma discharges. One of the most common forms is this squatter man. This is the plasma form, that's the petroglyph. Now, just to show you, this a little ordinary picture of a couple of stones at Stonehenge. And if you put our filter in front, you can actually see through the stones to the background. We'll see a couple more of those. Next one. Okay, and here, again, the background. Because what it does, um, it actually can bend light around solid objects. Uh, but it also, <laughs> it works the other way. Objects that are invisible, it, or things that are invisible, it can sometimes make uh, them manifest and uh, show a, a light recorded picture. He also had a lot of psychic activity there, and something called the third eye or the brow chakra. Our system shows up in these energy fields.
Now we began to realize it wasn't just a flattening of an energy field, it was also an energy field that also went upwards into the sky as well, that was actually associating with itself and interacting with the Earth's magnetic field. If you're standing on the ground, it would look like a sine wave, like a sound wave on an oscilloscope. That is incredible detailing and uh, placing of energy. Uh, ultrasound can also affect brainwave patterns, and we've talked before about how people experience heightened states of awareness in crop circles. Well, the same thing is true of stone circles, because ultrasound is also prevalent in stone circles in England as well. So there's that connection too. There's also a connection to healing, since we have over seven to 800 reports of people having healing experiences of crop circles. So given this whole scenario, it is conceivable that the crop circles are influencing biological systems, the energy grid, even the people that come into contact with them. We know that there's an input of information that's taking place because we have photographed crop circles appearing as tubes of light, as you can see here in this example, where eyewitnesses have seen tubes of light hit the ground, swirl the plants, Sometimes the crop circle will appear right in front of them, sometimes the crop circle will appear 24 hours later, as if there's already a programming that's taking place in the Earth, that the Earth is firing the information back up as well. Now, if we're talking about the light spectrum as well, we have to start talking about DNA, because the light spectrum carries the signals that organisms require for receiving information, particularly human DNA. And this particular unusual crop circle actually seems to match the strategic breaks in human DNA which are actually waiting to be coded. When the researcher Greg Braden looked at this design and measured the actual breaks in this snaking design and applied them as a, as a percentage to the human DNA molecule, he found that all of those breaks exactly match the parts of our human DNA molecule when nothing is happening. In other words, and quoting him, it seems to be awaiting to be programmed to wake up to something. 